So World of Warcraft is a video game that was meant originally to be played on a normal, conventional PC with a mouse and a keyboard. In fact, and let's be honest here, from the very beginning, World of Warcraft and pretty much any MMORPG is meant to be played with a keyboard with a lot of buttons and with a lot of inputs because you have a lot of spells, you have a lot of abilities, you have to use them, and in order to be efficient in the video game, you have to have access to a lot of these buttons. So it is complicated to adapt one of these games to a conventional controller. Well, the Steam Deck kind of changes things. And not only the Steam Deck, but a specific add-on for World of Warcraft that makes World of Warcraft a controller-friendly game. But not only that, but it's also a Steam Deck-friendly game. And it's insane how good World of Warcraft works on a Steam Deck. Ladies and gentlemen, please leave a like and subscribe if you are interested in Steam Deck content and video games, video game news, and really interesting stuff that I'll be bringing to this channel. If you love video games and you love tech, this is your channel. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the Steam Deck and World of Warcraft because, oh my god, this is so good. Which, by the way, by the end of this video, I will show you how to install World of Warcraft on the Steam Deck using SteamOS without using Windows, just natively on SteamOS without having to install Windows 10 or Windows 11, so it works really good. But ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about World of Warcraft in the console experience, because there is this add-on called Console Ports, which is really good, because it makes World of Warcraft controller friendly. So, as you guys know, there are so many spells and so many things that you have to do in an MMO like World of Warcraft that you need access to a lot of buttons. Obviously, a normal and conventional controller like the one found on the Steam Deck, it, it just doesn't have enough buttons. But, there's one thing that this add-on called Console Port does, and that is called Modifiers. And Modifiers are such a great feature that makes you have access to all the abilities and spells of your character. And in fact, there is this really cool thing called the ring menu, which you can even access to more stuff. So it's really good, it's really nice, and it's so cool. So here's the thing, imagine you have your character, like my mage or my paladin or in this case my death knight, right? And I have my abilities on the XYB buttons, I got my right bumper button, my left bumper button, and I even have the D-pad to even access some of my abilities. But here's the thing, even that is not enough uh, for all the abilities and everything you can do in World of Warcraft, but here's the thing. There is one th really cool thing about this add-on, uh, that if you hold the right trigger or the left trigger, you will have access to even more abilities. So while holding, for example, the right trigger, then X, Y, B, right, left bumpers, and the D-pad switch action bars, and now you have access to more abilities, which is really cool. So you have access by using the right trigger, also using the left trigger or holding both triggers and you have access to different action bars and different stuff that you can do in the game plus the ring menu which is really nice so this add-on needs some extra configuration i mean when you install this add-on into your wow folder and everything i do recommend you fiddle around with the configuration and with the settings of the add-on once you installed it because i mean there are some things that i think that need configuration from the player, so it's even a better experience, right? Uh, but obviously this is very subjective, I think every player is very unique and everybody has their own taste in terms of controls and everything. But for example, the ring menu, uh, I have it on my select button here, and I open the ring menu by using the select button, and I use the right stick, which is the camera stick, to select the things I want to use. So by default, this is not like that. By default, you have to actually set a control, like set a button to open up the ring menu. And by default, it's not the camera joystick to move the arrow and to select things, but it's the actual left joystick, the move joystick, which I don't like that. So, I mean, but you can change that. It's very customizable. It's a really, really nice a flexible add-on and it's really nice. I like it. But how about the performance of World of Warcraft on the Steam Deck? 
uh, it performs really well. You can actually run it at 60 FPS. But here's the thing, I have my game set to the graphics preset number 7 in the WoW graphics settings. Um, it, it works pretty nice, uh, but I do have to say that I run the game at 40 Hertz, so pretty much 40 FPS, and I set the TDP limit to 8 watts. So pretty much it's like a nice middle ground between performance and battery life, and I think it's a pretty nice experience. It's good. It's not perfect because you will notice in certain scenarios where the game will have some drops in the frame rates, uh, the frame rate will suffer in some situations, but it still does the job and it's really good. And again, it's a really, really stable experience in terms of battery life. It lasts for me around 2 hours 30 minutes, sometimes even 3 hours, depends on where in the game you are playing, because if you are in the actual open world constantly, then yeah, sure, maybe the battery life will drain faster, but if you are in a closed dungeon or doing things in a very closed instance, well, then you will have longer battery life, like three hours more or less. So it's not bad. I think it's a nice thing and uh, it works phenomenal. And with the add-on, it's just beautiful. So how do you install World of Warcraft on the Steam Deck? So this is the question that a lot of people might have in their heads and I will answer to that question right now. It's actually very simple. You don't need Windows or anything. So, here's the thing, right? You have to go to your desktop mode on your Steam Deck, right? Go to desktop mode, the normal Linux mode, and go to your browser and download Battle.net. So go to the normal Battle.net uh, website and download Battle.net for Windows because Battle.net is not natively in a way in Linux, right? So you have to download it for Windows. So once you downloaded the .exe file uh, for the installer, don't run it normally. You have to add it as a non-Steam game in your Steam library on your Steam Deck. Once you've done that, before you run the Battle.net launcher through the Steam app, before you do that, you have to add the compatibility layer of Proton Experimental. That's what works for me. For some people, it works with different versions of Proton. For me, it's experimental. And it works. So you launch it through Steam, and there you go. You're gonna have the installer of Battle.net, just like you would be installing it on Windows. It's the same feeling, the same system. Install it, boom, there you go, the launcher. And then you install World of Warcraft, just like you would do normally. But, here's the thing. Obviously, since it's a non-Steam game, I do highly recommend you to customize the icons and the banners and the artwork of the video game, right? Because if you add the Battle.net launcher as a non-Steam game, you will have the generic Battle.net icon. It doesn't look good. So I customized it to look like World of Warcraft natively running on a Steam Deck. So there you go. I just customized it. I added an animated banner and it looks really nice. You can actually search for those files on Google. It's really easy. And there you go. And for the console port add-on, you would install the add-on just like you would install it on your normal PC. Download console port add-on from the Curse Forge. Then once you get the file for the add-on, extract it, extract the folder. And once you get the folder of the console port add-on, you have to go to the World of Warcraft files and drop it in the interface folder, add-ons, and drop it there. Where do you find the World of Warcraft folder in the Steam Deck? It's very easy. You actually have to go to your Steam folder on your Steam Deck in desktop mode, go to Steam Apps, and then in the Steam Apps, you have to find the Windows emulation folders. Now, there are going to be a lot of folders with different numbers and random uh, numbers there, and it's going to be a bit messy, but if you organize those, if you sort them by date, and you open up the one that it's the most recently modified, that's going to be the one that's where, where you're going to find your World of Warcraft folder with Battle.net and everything. So, you go there, and then you will find the World of Warcraft folder, and then you install the add-on, just like you would install it on your normal conventional PC. So that's how it is, and then you run it through the gaming mode, and there you go, That it's as simple as that, and it works really good, it wor works wonders. And this is World of Warcraft on the go. For me, it's a dream. And in fact, I have an unlimited data plan on my phone. And it's not the first time I'm literally traveling. I'm like working outside because I travel a lot. In fact, um, I'm a Michael Jackson impersonator. I work professionally as one. I work in different venues around the world. We're touring worldwide with the show Forever King of Pop. So I'm traveling a lot. 
And here's the thing, I've been using my phone to actually give internet access to my Steam Deck around the world. And yes, it works really, really, really well. No lag, no problems, and I can play World of Warcraft in an airport or in a hotel room, in a random hotel room, or in the lobby of a hotel where I'm just waiting for them to give me access to my room or whatever, and I maybe spend like 30 minutes waiting playing World of Warcraft. Now, it's not the perfect experience. Obviously, the most optimal way to play this type of MMOs, it's a conventional mouse and keyboard layout, but for doing leveling, like, you know, you're leveling your alt character for doing daily quests, world quests, things that are not too crazy. It's such a phenomenal experience. It's really good. Even dungeons, like, it's even good for dungeons. Getting into serious PvP or getting into very serious PvE content, maybe it's not the most optimal way of playing the game. But for all the rest of content you can do in World of Warcraft, I think it's pretty good. Honestly, it's just it's just pretty good. I like it So let me know in the comments down below if you will play World of Warcraft on the Steam Deck on the go If you're interested in doing that or not Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the current state of World of Warcraft by the way Are you excited on Dragonflight because it's coming really soon by the time I'm uploading this video Dragonflight is coming next month. So uh, Yeah, and the pre-patch is also right around the corner. So um, that's awesome. So ladies and gentlemen of course, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you love video games, if you love tech, and of course, if you love this Steam Deck. So yeah, stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.